So I have a bunch of photos that I downloaded using the links in the description. And I want to change the hair color in all of them in Photoshop. I want a very quick way to do it because I only have two minutes. But I also want control. I want to be able to edit my edits later. Yeah. Let's start with this photo because we're gonna make changes to one photo, save the changes as a preset, and then apply the same preset to all of the other photos. Crazy, isn't it? But first, go to the Layers panel, right-click on the layer, and convert it into a smart object. So now we can work non-destructively. Then, go to Filter, Camera Raw Filter. On the right of the Camera Raw window, click on this masking icon, and Camera Raw should auto-detect the people in the photo. So click on Person 1 here. And now you get to choose if you want to select the entire person or specific parts, such as hair. I'll also select the eyebrows, because why not? And in this case, I will not create two separate masks, one for the hair and one for the eyebrows, because I'll apply the same color correction to both of them. So I'll leave that unchecked and click Create. And with the mask selected, I can do whatever I want with these sliders and settings. I'm going to scroll down, change the colors using this hue box, or even make it completely black by decreasing the saturation, and maybe make it a little bit darker using the curves adjustment. When you're done, click the presets icon, and then click here to create a new preset. Let's call it black hair and eyebrows. Save it inside the user presets folder or group. And under subset, only save the modified settings, the things that we did to the masks. And then click OK and OK again. Done. Now if I open another photo, like this one for example, convert it to a smart object, and open the camera raw filter, I can go to presets, and under user presets, click black hair and eyebrows to make the hair black with a single click. And since it's a smart object, we get a smart filter. So if we want to make further changes, then we can simply double click on it. And we can also use the filter mask to remove the effect from specific areas. Nice. 